Hey everybody, I'm here with our meteorologist, Jesse Huila, and we're talking about what is heading our way later on this week. And Jesse, you know, I think a lot of people can't help but think about what's expected this week and then compare it to what we saw in February, 2021. That's totally understandable, but I think perspective is key here. Perspective is key. Uh, Texas sees snow and ice. That is a pretty common occurrence, but we don't expect anything like we saw last year. And everyone's gonna get cold, but not as cold as last year. And certainly not everyone's going to see ice in Texas. Okay, so speaking of that cold, let's talk some numbers here. What were the lows in February 2021 compared to what we're expecting this week? Big time difference. Big, big time difference. So last year, DFW got down to negative two on the morning of the 16th. So negative two in February of last year, but then this week? Uh, low teens. You know, that's going to be the coldest it looks like it's going to get. And it'll be a, a lot shorter period of time compared to last year. Yeah, and about that time period. So last year, it was like almost a week. This year, yeah. much shorter. Yeah, a couple days. And the, again, the intensity won't be as bad either. And even when I say a couple of days, the days where we'll be below freezing, highs will be close to freezing. Back last year, the highs were in the teens for a couple of days. So we were nowhere close to freezing. That'll make a big difference. Okay, so this week, not going to be as cold, not going to be as cold for as long compared to February 2021, but crews in our area are still preparing for power outages. Yeah, yeah. We're expecting freezing rain potential, and unfortunately, freezing rain is known to cause power outages. It adds a lot of weight to power lines. It can cause some tree limbs to come down, so crews, rightfully so, are, are keeping a very sharp eye on this situation. What a great breakdown from Ariel Placencia and, of course, meteorologist Jesse Hawila. And on that note, Encore told us today that resources and personnel are being pre-positioned ahead of the weather arriving Wednesday evening. Encore says their crews are trained to work safely and efficiently in freezing temperatures. Yeah, they certainly got a, got a lot of experience with that last winter.